Hi, I'm Randy Sather, bilingual librarian at Bettis Elementary. Hi, I'm Carrie Johnson. I'm a fifth grade dual language teacher here. My name is Chris McLeod. I teach a three-year engineering program at Brazoswood High School. Um, my name is Rowan Davenport and I'm the lead engineer for the highest level of rocketry at Brazoswood. And we're sitting in our library right now that is the heart of our school. So all of our classrooms go around it. It's a common space for us to spend time together, to read books, um, to engage in literacy and bilingual development. So teamwork is really important whenever you work on a project to the scale that we're doing because um, believe me, uh, you can't do it all by yourself. I have tried. But, <laughs> um, and as far as collaboration goes, I would say one amazing thing that Ms. Johnston does is connect uh, with her students via literature. That is one of the main avenues that she uses. When they come to the library for our lessons, she will be kind of sneaking around the library, pulling little piles of books to, to pass off to students like, oh, you read this number one book in the series, here's number two, or you liked that author, you're gonna love this one and uh, making connections with students via literature, and it's a really beautiful thing. So one of the best resources we have on campus is our library. Um, we start the year with research, we start the year with trying to figure out the scale of these projects and being able to collaborate with someone who can teach research skills, who can teach the background to how to read a paper. Those are essential skills that we carry forward with every phase of our project. Um, but I think something that really one thing that we've collaborated on that's really inspired me is the way we brought literacy together outside of our school. Um, something that we've done is um, partner with Austin Public Library to do walking field trips to the Southeast Branch over here. Um, so students could see that the library is not just in our schools, but we live in a community where books are really important and they're accessible and we can read them. And, and I mean, it was, it seems kind of small, but it helps break down that barrier. They have now been to the public library. They recognize the children's librarian. They kind of know their way around the space and hopefully they can visit more often with their families too. Um, with our new school that we've got, our library is really beautiful and it's just really nice to be in there with other people who are doing their work. It's a really calm environment and it just makes um, any schoolwork or research for this project easier to do, so. So just remember that your campus librarian is wanting and willing and excited to collaborate with you. So reach out to them, think up some kind of cool project and, and start small, start with something. Maybe it's one author visit or mm -hmm. uh, one special writing project. And then you just, over the years, it kind of grows from there. Yeah, it helps that we both love books. And so we can sit and talk about new books we've read um, in our own lives. And so, yeah, without our library, I don't know, we wouldn't be able to have the amazing opportunities we have in our classroom. So it also, as a classroom teacher, allows me to diversify my curriculum and also to allow my students to have as many opportunities to find the books that they're gonna love and that they're gonna, I want them to fall in love with reading and writing. And so with our library, I know we're doing it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Librarians rock. You do that now. And teachers roll. <laughs> it wasn't recording the whole time.